Alright guys, we're back in free code camp. We're working on that free developer certificate. And we're in basic algorithm scripting the bonfire title case of sentence. So the first thing I did when I looked through here is I I look at these helpful links. So what does char at do? Char at will select a character of a string. So if char at zero will give us uh, in this case, if we started just with this whole string, it would say I. If we said char at 1, it would give us this. So we, we're going to need to be able to use what we did in the previous uh, sections, bonfires, and work with that. So And it, somehow integrate char at with it. So, uh, so far what's been pretty successful is breaking up the big string into little strings. So um, we do that by creating an array of strings, and we split up our strings with a, uh, a space. Oops. So, um, but uh, I guess what we'll go over these exercises, basically we just want to capitalize every single word, and we also want to lowercase the rest of the word. So in this case, it's, you can see it's going to return here as my handle with just one letter capitalized per word. All right, cool. So the first thing we did is we created an array of strings. Um, next thing we're going to need to do is to iterate through that string. So we're going to do a for uh, a for loop. Um, var i is just kind of our placeholder. We're going to start that at zero. We're going to say what i is less than the words in our array of strings dot length. So the words that are left in our array of strings dot le length. We want to increment it by one. So um, a couple of th there's probably numerous ways you can do this. Um, how I did it was I created a placeholder here and just set it equal to the original word because um, what I wanted to do was uh, I wanted to change the first letter and then concatenate it with the rest of the word in the lowercase form. So how do we do that? Uh, this goes back to our char at. So we have our placeholder. We're going to create a var. And this one's just going to be the f all we want uh, in up letter here um, is the first letter of the word. And then we want to uppercase it. So we go to our placeholder and we say dot char at. And make sure you get the right tense. Oops. Ah, char at zero uh, dot to uppercase. So if you remember, it, uh, uppercase will uppercase the whole word. So that's why we have to select the f only the first character. So what next? So I was trying to find a way to do this without um, bringing in any other functions and, and methods, string functions. But... Uh, this is kind of the best solution I found. So we're going to take our placeholder. Remember, our placeholder is our original string. And what do we want to do is we want to slice that string, meaning that we're going to use the slice will take away part of the string. So in this case, we just want to take away the first letter of the word, and then we want to lowercase it. And then after that, we're going to concatenate it with our, orig with our up letter, and then it will re we'll return the array. Of strings uh, at the end. So first thing first, we we want to slice our string up. So we're going to take the original string that's being used as placeholder. We want to slice it at the one position. So it starts at zero. So we're saying skip the f the very first zero index position and start at one, and go all the way um, to placeholder dot length. So however long our word is, and then while you're at it, go ahead and lowercase that. Because we need, because it's not the first letter, we need it to be lowercase. So cool. So from here, all we have to do is concatenate our strings back into the array. So array of strings is equal to, oops, array of strings i. So because uh, this, so it needs to iterate through each one is equal to um, up letter. So the first letter that's capitalized dot concat with our new string placeholder. Okay, so uh, we're still returning str here. So what we have to do now is join it all back into one string 
So we have to say str is equal to array of strings dot join and every time we join it we want to put a space in between it like it originally was and then when we run it oops let's see array of strings one of these is wrong is that it placeholder is not defined oops so there we go so um Let's go ahead and put our comments in here so we know what we're talking about. Um, so w again, this splits one, str uh, one string into an, uh, an array of strings separate, uh, separated by Basis, uh, for loop, uh, placeholder for original string, selects first letter and uppercases it, selects second letter to to end of the word and lowercase it. Concatenates uppercase first letter and rest of lower case word. Takes array and Sets str to a single string. So now you can see when we run it, we're good to go here. If you're like me, you should shout from a mountain top that uh, you finish this up, submit, and go on to the next challenge. And up next, it looks like we're going to be returning the largest number in the array. Okay, so that shouldn't be too bad. We just have to iterate through some numbers and use the comparison operators. And then we just store, Is this if this number is bigger than this, change the value of this number and keep going through it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you, obviously, um, so this video is only about eight minutes. I worked through these beforehand. And so realistically, um, doing a little bit of research and looking up the slice uh, function. This probably took me about 45 minutes. So if that's what it takes you without the video, it's all good, guys. And if it takes you longer, I don't care if it takes you all the day, every day. Just keep it up, man. It's it's a it's some it's so easy to get down on yourself when you're getting started in programming. It's very easy to get confused. Just keep watching the videos and keep doing what you can. And as always, constructive criticism is appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That helps me out a ton. And I appreciate all the comments that I get and all the questions I get in the comments. And I'm happy to answer them. So keep them coming. And I'll see you in the next video.